This is the hottest zombie movie of 2021. The zombies in this movie have become intelligent. They build their own empire of death. The one riding the warhorse is the zombie emperor. Anyone infected by him personally will become more powerful. People call this mutant zombie alpha. The emperor has absolute authority. Even the powerful tiger has to obey him. Together they guarded the zombie kingdom. As for why the zombie crisis broke out. It started six months ago, on a straight highway. The army was escorting a container speeding along, while the driver was distracted by the conversation, head-on collision with opposite car. The transport container was also thrown out. Soldiers instantly as the enemy, because the container had opened on impact. Just when the chief ordered everyone to retreat immediately, the monster in the box also rushed out. He had strong fighting instincts and a bloodthirsty nature. The soldiers were instantly killed and wounded by his attack. Eventually, the whole squad was wiped out. The soldiers who were bitten to death were also infected. They relied on their hunting instincts and quickly found the brightly lit pea city. Under the attack of the zombies, their team grew bigger and bigger. Eventually, the whole city fell. All the residents were turned into zombies. The government immediately covered the city with firepower, but it still didn't stop the spread of the virus. The military eventually built a towering wall. This also temporarily blocked the pace of the zombies. However, in this zombie nation, there was a group of mercenaries who wanted money more than life. They broke into P-Town and stole the underground vault under the casino. As the zombie crisis erupted, the president finally gave the order. The military is about to carry out a nuclear strike on the zombie nation and wants to use this method to eliminate the zombies in one fell swoop. So, the owner of the casino found the mercenary Scott. He wants Scott to help him get the $200 million in the vault before the bombing. Afterward, he would give $50 million as payment. Scott was able to get out of P-Town with his team through his strong fighting ability. He has a lot of experience in dealing with zombies. Faced with such a temptation, Scott finally agreed to do so. Then, he started to gather his team members. They are Scott's crush Maria, Team Corvandero, Marianne, who is well versed in all kinds of machinery, Mikey, a hip-hop teenager who fights zombies while broadcasting live, and Dieter, the master locksmith, but the boss is obviously wary of the team. He also sent his man Martin to join the team. After everything was ready, the team started to go immediately. First, Scott found his daughter Kate. She happens to be volunteering in P-City right now. They were ready to enter P-City through the quarantine zone. Under Kate's cover, the team entered the quarantine zone without any problems. She found Lily, who was familiar with the local environment, to lead the way for the team. Just as Kate was about to leave, she noticed that her best friend had disappeared. It turns out that she had slipped into P-City last night. Now she doesn't know if her friend is alive or dead. Kate defied Scott to follow the team into action. Before the trip, Lily pulled another skinny guy into the gang. She told the group that this man would be of great use when the time came. As the group opened the entrance, they also saw corpses all over the ground. The entire city of P was now desolate. Next, the group proceeded cautiously. At this time, a zombie tiger also appeared in front of the team. Fortunately, the people dodged in time, and the zombie tiger did not find their silhouette. And when the zombie tiger gradually away, Lily actually shot and wounded the skinny guy. So this is the big role of the thin man, since the zombies have evolved intelligence. As long as the squad offered offerings as a sign of submission, then they would be fine for the rest of the day. Under the observation of the people, then some zombies did come here. They quickly took the tributes away, and the team continued to move forward. However, they didn't know that the zombie emperor was watching the team's actions. The team made it to their destination without a hitch. Scott immediately set up the next task. He would first activate the building's generator. Dieter needed to crack the vault safe. Pilot Marianne will check the helicopter. When all the tasks are completed, they will take the $200 million to the rooftop rendezvous. Then they all leave together. However, after they enter the vault, Dieter finds that the place is full of traps, hidden underground sensor devices. Something must be used as bait. Otherwise, those who enter will surely die. Vandero heard the words and immediately went into the elevator. By the time he came back, he had successfully found the bait to get the zombie to move forward. Vandero took out a pig's foot to lure it. The zombie slowly walked forward out of instinct. And as he triggered the sensors, the surrounding traps were immediately activated. The bait was soon shot into a hedgehog, but the zombie did not feel any pain. He continued to move forward at his pace. However, the next second was machine gunfire. The zombie was quickly beaten into a hornet's nest. Just when everyone thought everything was safe, 
the bait was crushed to a pulp. Luckily, the zombie had cleared all the mechanisms. Dieter immediately went to the safe. This is the only legendary safe that has not been cracked. The twilight of the gods has been passed down for a hundred years. Dieter started unlocking the door immediately. However, just at this time, the crowd also saw bad news in the hall. The government decided to advance the time of the nuclear bomb drop. They now had only two hours left. And then came another piece of bad news. Marianne arrives on the roof and realizes that the helicopter is in a state of disrepair. But Marianne was confident in her skills. She promised to fix the helicopter before the nuclear bomb came. There was also a new development on Dieter's side. Under pressure, he finally lived up to the expectations. The Twilight of the Gods was successfully opened. The crowd was stunned by this time. There was more cash in the safe than they could spend in a lifetime. The crowd immediately prepared to pack up all the money and take it away. On the other side, the skinny man who had been taken as a tribute had been brought to the hotel. A large number of zombies were gathered here. And with a roar, all the zombies began to retreat. Their king had arrived here. The zombie emperor listened to the sound coming from the queen's abdomen. It turned out that the zombie queen was actually giving birth to new life. Next, the thin man was also transformed into a new zombie. Then, the zombie queen continued to wander the streets. But she came to the casino. Lily, who was on guard, spotted them immediately. Martin grabbed the queen straight away. The guards around the queen saw this and immediately rushed toward Martin. Even if the bullets hit him, the zombie did not react much. So this is the elite zombie alpha, but their weakness still exists. Next to Lily headshot the zombie's head to save his teammate. Then Martin, to vent his anger, also brutally cut off the head of the queen. But the huge commotion here has alerted the zombie emperor. When he arrived on his warhorse, he only saw the headless body of the empress. The zombie emperor was so grief-stricken that he roared in anger. Then he took the queen body back to the hotel. It turned out that there was an undeveloped baby in the belly of the empress. The bereaved emperor let out a hiss of pain. The emperor immediately started to gather his men. The zombies all poured out. Under the emperor's leadership, they would take revenge and kill all humans who entered the kingdom. All the zombies started to rush into the casino. But Scott and the others didn't know about it. As soon as the elevator door opened, the zombies came out. The zombies instantly killed Maria. But Scott didn't have time to grieve. He started to attack the zombies frantically. However, the elite zombie knew Chinese Kung Fu. Luckily, Scott was able to take care of the enemy with his strong body. Seeing the zombies continue to pour in, Lily immediately escaped from the side door with her remaining teammates. Vandero and Dieter were not so lucky. Just when they turned around to get the money, the zombies broke the elevator. The zombie emperor had also arrived here. And to protect his weakness, he even wore a steel mask. This stunned the two. At this time, Vandero still wanted to go into physical combat. Vandero was no match at all and was easily taken down in just a few moves. Vandero was about to die in the zombie emperor's mouth. At this time, Dieter finally rushed out. After attacking the emperor, he pushed Vandero directly into the vault. Then he locked the vault before the emperor could kill him. On the other side, Martin, who led the way, actually locked the exit after escaping from the passage. It turns out that the casino owner does not care about the 200 million cash. The queen's head she removed just now was the boss's real target. An army of zombies that can be controlled and can help him unify the whole world. Now everyone who knows the secret is going to die here. After Martin leaves, Scott immediately takes out his chainsaw. They had to cut through the surrounding walls to escape. Martin, who was already out of the casino, found that the weight of the pocket in his hand was not right. Only after he opened, it did he realize that the queen's head had turned into a printer. While he was in shock, the zombie tiger had already arrived behind him. Martin was knocked out without resistance. Then he was torn into pieces by the zombie tiger. At the same time, Scott and the others managed to open the passage. When they arrived in the hall, they were immediately attacked by the zombies. And all the zombies that appear here are elite zombies. In the face of the endless zombies, Mikey was inadvertently pounced on the ground, seeing that zombies have infected him, to cover the remaining teammates to leave. Mikey pulled all the bombs on his body. The remaining Scott and Lily also finally escaped to the roof of the building, but I didn't expect that the zombie emperor also chased them here. Lily took out the queen's head. The emperor did not dare to do anything rashly. Lily told Scott to leave first, seeing that the plane had successfully taken off. But then the emperor launched a sneak attack. 
Seeing that the emperor had pounced on her, she directly threw the head from a high building. The emperor roared with rage, but he could only kill Lily to spill the beans. On the plane, Scott asks Marianne to go with him to save Kate. It turns out that she snuck into the hotel while the zombies were gone. Here she did find her best friend. Unbeknownst to her, the emperor is rushing back to the hotel with his man. Just as Kate was about to leave with her friend, the skinny guy who was infected before also found them. Luckily Kate used her pistol to finish him off. By this time, the zombie emperor had also appeared in the area, just when the two of them were desperate. Fortunately, Scott arrived on time, he used a bomb to shoot the emperor away. The three of them immediately rushed to the roof of the building, but they found out that Marianne was gone, just when the three of them were desperate. Marianne had a conscience, and she came back here. They immediately boarded the plane, that's when the emperor reappeared. With a quick sprint, he jumped right into the plane. Scott saw this and immediately jumped on it. At that moment, the military's nuclear bomb passed over the plane, with a violent mushroom cloud rising into the air. A burst of white light instantly filled the entire space. Just when the Emperor could not open his eyes, he was shot in head by Scott. However, under the shock wave of the nuclear bomb, the plane was eventually destroyed and crashed to the ground. By the time Kate woke up again, only Scott had survived on the plane, but he had been bitten by a zombie in the fight. Seeing that he was about to mutate, Kate could only tearfully kill him. At the end of the film, Vandero emerges from the rubble alone. He is the only surviving member of the team. He took a lot of cash with him, enough to spend for the rest of his life. Just when Vandero thought it was all over, his body soon became abnormal. It turns out that his arm had already been bitten by a zombie. Another zombie crisis is coming. Well, remember to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.